What's up, tractor lovers? This is Jason with For the Love of Tractors. And I'm kind of filling a fan request here. Filling, fulfilling, whatever. Someone asked for me to do a video on all of my Steigers. So this might be a two-part video because I have a lot of Steigers. And part of them here are at my house where I use on my display or various things of that nature. And part of them are at my office where I'm working on another display. <laughs> so anyway, let's start with the modern Steigers. So first up would be my pair of 620s. Now I did a video on these not too terribly long ago. Um, so you can check that out for more detail. 620 Steigers, these are obviously uh, used to be red quad tracks that we painted up green. I didn't actually do these myself. Uh, my buddy Scott at uh, Terre Haute Customs did these for me. And it was kind of a situation where I had planned to do some of these and he had already done them. And so sometimes it's just a little easier to have somebody else do it, especially when you know they do good work. I mean, you know, so we've got mirrors, we've got lights, um, you know, just sort of the basics that make a nice custom. And so that's what I ended up here with, a nice custom uh, pair of Steigers to pull my big dominators with. So now, if we kind of move into my own custom realm of things, so here is the Case IH row crop, of course, uh, the authentic, of course, the hood lifts and all that good stuff. Now, I disassembled this, and these are a pain in the butt to dis <laughs> disassemble. I'm not going to sh even sugarcoat that. They kind of suck. But I did that and then repainted it Steiger green, and... Um, Turned out pretty good. Door opens, closes. Of course, being an authentic, it's got all the details of an authentic and all of that. I The one thing I wish I would have done while I was doing this was fix the ride height because these obviously super low to the ground from Ertl and that is so incorrect. It's such a, uh, it's such a weird mistake for them to make. I mean, I, you know, I could talk days and days about that. Anyway, so I guess the next step to take a look at is my Lion 500. Now, obviously, another fantasy tractor. So this is this was a another authentic uh, from Ertl, the wheeled version. And what I decided I needed to do was to make myself a Steiger version. Now, this is where it gets weird. So this paint is a little darker, and you can see compared to the others what I mean. And... <sighs> This is the trouble I run into with Steiger Green. So this came straight from the Steiger dealership, this can of paint did. But, it, it it's not Steiger Green, even though it says Steiger Green and it's from the dealership. It's like Case IH Iron Guard paint or whatever. Wow, terrible, terrible, terrible camera work. I apologize. And um, I'm using this, just real quick, I'm using this gimbal thing that I bought for my GoPro. And I have no idea what I'm doing. So I apologize in advance for that. <laughs> for any crappy camera work. But, you know, same same deal as the quad track, the authentic. Hood raises and lowers. Had to make my own decals. I'm terrible at decals. That is something that has to improve. What can I say? <clears throat> and sort of last, and certainly not least, of this video anyway. Or the 2017 Farm Show edition 620 Steiger. So this actually came from Ertl with the cool paint job and it, it is super cool. They did an excellent job on it. I really, really, really like this tractor. But as you often get with Ertl, they put terrible tires on it. Terrible tires. So of course I swap mine out. So the situation here is these are my own wheels, rims, if you will. I 3D printed those, drew them up, 3D printed them. Um, I don't know if I can get in there on some of that detail or not. I, they're very nice. I'm really happy with the way those turned out. I'm just absolutely thrilled, and I'm going to use them a lot. And uh, then I got some mini toy truck and tractor, uh, you know, formerly Standy Toys. Um, you know, tires for that. Those are 800, uh, I think they're 870R38s, if I remember correctly. 
And I'm trying to read the label here, but my eyes aren't that good, so I apologize. Anyway, so that's kind of part one of looking at my, let's call it modern Steigers. And then we'll get to the older Steigers in a bit. Thanks for watching, guys.